Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope you're doing really well. This reading is going to be for the second half of May. So thanks so much for coming by. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, this is the Happy Melodies or Mystic Melodies. Yeah, Mystic Melodies tarot card. So I'm going to pull from it. If one of the extra Happy Squirrel or Sad Squirrel cards comes out, then we're just going to draw another card for that card so let's get on i think we're going to do your celtic cross i'm pretty sure that that's what would be good and i've already opened up in meditation for information for you so we'll see what kind of messages we get see that five of cups ace of pentacles Okay, Pisces. That's just for Pisces. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands in the reverse. That's nice. Goodness, Pisces, doesn't make sense. Oh, well, maybe it does, maybe it does. Ooh, big change, big change, wow, wow. It's the card that spends time uh, um, by themselves or to themselves, but also single and mingle card, both together as the outcome. I know I'm jumping from one thing to another really quick, but Wow. So, okay, the past energy is the emperor in reverse, which is about, um, well, needing to find your inner authority, needing to, um, I would say, be more authoritative. Let's, let's pull from the original tarot. Okay, the emperor in reverse. Tell me about that emperor in reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse, which is saying what this Queen of Cups um, at your challenge is saying here, Pisces. So it's saying that there might be some kind of power struggle in your environment here in the past or something of a rebellious nature, uh, but it can also be like needing to listen to your own inner authority and um, needing to develop a strategy it has to do with you giving that cup to yourself first so that then you can give your cup to others. Because of the something missing in the, the heart of the matter, Ten of Cups reverse, it, the something missing is the you taking care of you optimally, which that's hard to do all the time too, right? So let me get that. <clears throat> You know what's crazy is I'm getting with this Five of Pentacles here. I know it's kind of like, oh, goodness, but we're going to focus on it a little bit. I, I have a feeling that it's you might be ghosting somebody or might be, might be like, I'm going to handle this temporary situation on my own, something like that. I don't know. Helping others. So, okay, a focus on you and a focus on love. Now, I have the Two of Cups card. That usually is um, my real love card. Like, this is the real love. This is true love or this is a, a good partnership. I don't know, but I'm having a feeling that it might be involved with an, something you're going, going to invest in with the Page of Pentacles. Something new. So, this is like the seed planted. You're feeling like the Queen of Pentacles. There might be something that you pay for to have done for yourself that is, is just kind of like paying out a large amount of money or something that might, might be like a temporary thing, but investment in yourself is like necessary here. 
All right. <clears throat> this could be about choices with the two of cups. Um, I'm getting, well, yeah, choices on how you want to expand or how you see yourself. It's um, watching what you thought would come to fruition come to fruition. And that's um, really helpful, creative, um, always looking forward. It can be about the journey, too, or someone going on a journey. Could have been somebody that went on a journey. Or you could be waiting on somebody coming back from a journey. Jeez, it could be like the other half of this to a cups. All right, so maybe somebody left to go find themselves, if that makes sense. Tell me about the ten of cups in the reverse. Page of swords. It, it feels like this is about how you communicate or communicating. Um, what's being said or what you're hearing. There's a big tie in this like message, this news with you um, giving, giving that cup to yourself. I don't know what that is, but we'll get more. So you could be doing your own research. You could be spying, like you could be getting just your own research here. Look at all these pages, page, page, page. If there's not a lot of um, child or younger energies, then, well, this could be the sign of something coming into your life um, with the page of cups. It can be that something is as hopeful as like you're wanting it to be. I see the two of cups here with this page of cups and I'm getting the vibe of the three of cups. You can look at the three of cups that are down that spilt, or you can look at the cups that you have left and you can look at, um, the new opportunities, the newness, uh, in the fact that when one door closes, one door is always opened. So this is something of somewhat of an, a new adventure for you. The only one we don't have out yet is the news, good news card, the page of wands. So this is the investment, the page of pentacles has to, to do with, wow, finding inspiration for what you're wanting to create. Have the king of wands energy, could be a Leo energy. This could be Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn in your reading. Um, investment into what you're building will really pay off. It's interesting how that nine of wands in the reverse is pointing to the hermit. Because the crowning energy is, um, it feels like you're not giving to yourself like you should be giving to yourself. That's kind of the message I'm getting. I know that's not like you stop going within as much or something like that the five of swords conflict there's something missing with everybody being really happy and it's causing some kind of conflict or conflicted feelings and there may be this energy of like because of this fighting i just want to go off on my own and be alone. This can represent you just really wanting to be alone. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles. You absolutely can do everything yourself. <laughs> it's as you are feeling. So the spot where you're feeling. Tell me about Queen of Pentacles. The only restriction would be the ones that you uh, put on yourself or the anxiety would be the anxiety you put on yourself. Moving out of some kind of restrictions or isolation, isolating oneself too. The world is a completion, a new chapter, but it is the last card in, in the tarot. So there is some ending too. There's a completion, a closure. I will get some more energy on what this is exactly. And we'll use a different card deck. Let's see. Okay, 
tell me why why um, this why does Pisces feel restricted or bound to something? Knight of Cups. Because there's either there's already been an offer or because there's some kind of movement that happens once we break through this. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is somebody who's really not wanting to take a risk. Or preoccupied with fixing something of their own or dealing with something of their own than to deal um, like with others at this time. Major change and transformation with the Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm getting that this energy is, is coming out of its shell in a way. Surprising transformation. Surprising transformation. Ooh, this was change and it came in and it's quick and it's unexpected. These two are like going after each other. They're going to meet in the middle here. Um, you're offering your cup of support and love to this change because there's something about the transformation that's really great that you can see here, whatever it is that was successfully built. So what about the five of pentacles here? I feel like this is about alone or being alone, spending time alone. Wow. Yeah, it is spending that time alone. There you go. Ace of Cups. Spending time alone brings out this um, victor in you or this person that rises above everything. This is your victory. This is your triumph. Um, definitely. So your victory, your um, getting reward, getting reward for merit. Leo energy, Taurus energy. Could be Aries energy down here. I didn't say with that Queen of Wands in reverse. So there's a victory. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Whatever that's disappointment, sadness, or regret is. Mm, about a past heartache type situation with the third party. And there's the good news. I was like, there's only one card that hasn't come out yet. But because of being able to put this in the past, you see it's coming out right next to that Ace of Wands in the past. So it's something from the past. And there's probably passion that is lost from it. But here we have the Page of Wands. Good news. And it's celebration. Getting together friends and family after this disappointment ready to go back to fix or address anything that needs fixing um, or needs balancing out regarding family money um, all kinds of things with the wheel of fortune yep let's get um some more cards on uh the hermit up there spending the time alone what are you looking for what are you searching for what is Pisces searching for? Mm. Well, there's there's a lot of anxiety here. Um, uh, there's a lot of like what if type of thinking. Um, processing those thoughts, changing those thoughts. Not being so worried about the word change when you hear that and something that's really unknown and I usually think of the blessing though that's there where you, you know don't expect it or don't see it her seven of swords in the reverse either this has to do with the rebellious energy that's caught um, caught in maybe their strategy or tactic because it could have involved sneakiness or um, I don't know, just like tiptoeing around a situation. But you have wise discernment, um, able to figure something out or a situation out. So everything feels like from whatever point that was in the past till now, something is kind of transparent for you. Or if you need the answer, you know how to get an answer and you'll get the right answer. There's the Hermit in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. It's just time to come out of your um, cave 
uh, past whatever situation this was. Um, socialize, maybe spending so, too much time alone. Maybe it's just increasing worry. Um, Knight of Pentacles is slow but steady success. This is a very practical, it looks like this is a good offer to the Page of Wands, the good news card, right? So that is what I've got for you guys. Um, let's see, let's get some more cards. Let's get some of the um, entrepreneur. This is such a mess too. I need to clean this up first. Let me clean this mess up first and then we'll do some Oracle. Work. Okay, this is the Oracle part of your reading, Pisces. Let's get into this. Divine entrepreneurship Oracle or divine feminine entrepreneurship Oracle. Strategize, develop, develop a marketing strategy. Results are not coming in fast enough. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place that takes the guesswork out of growing your business. Believe, believe, saying yes to believing in yourself and in your business vision. Move forward knowing that your success is assured. And plan, anticipate for setbacks and failures, plan for them. Don't let them drain your energy. Use them as fuel to go after your dreams. And I have higher. If you're feeling overwhelmed with a never-ending to-do list, outsource your mundane business tasks to a virtual assistant and get support. Direct. Learn how to find and direct your ideal clients and customers to your offers, websites, content, and social media channels. And then I have book clients. Focus on booking your calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goals. That's what I've got for that part of the divine um, feminine entrepreneur. Let's get some tea leaves now. Seahorse Family Matters is coming out first. Seahorse Family Matters. Bird Flying, which, oh my goodness, you had every single page in your tarot reading, and now you have Bird Flying. News is on the way. I would say, like, majorly news is on the way. Um, grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. Choices, decisions, justice to coming out with that hmm diamond you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift that might be part of the news too nice goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth Cat, a two-faced friend. Cat, a two-faced friend. All right, bell announcement. Bowl, plenty of material things. Tiger doing something risky or taking a chance. And harp, great happiness. I have harp, great happiness. Let's see, let's get... um. Let's get some of these. have come to the edge like um taking a leap of faith the yin energy be ready to receive so whatever it is that you're going to take a leap of faith in you can expect that you're going to get news about receiving um a lot you need to believe in this being open to receive was your challenge in the reading 
Aw, and then I get the happy, happy card. Especially with this, you'll be giving or receiving a precious gift. Happy, happy. And imagine, it might be about these strategies or strategize and blessed on the bottom of the deck. Nice. Nice. Okay. And um, let's close out with the Mystic Martian. We'll close out with it. Whoa. Okay, I have three Alpha Draconians, Corrupt Unethical Cults, 12 Mantis Beings, Enigma, Elusive, and Sensitive. And then, gosh, look at all these Reptilians. And then 17 Reptilians, Predator, Survival, Tyrannical. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm closing out with, too. No, I'm not. I'm going <laughs> to close out this. That's craziness. We're going to close out with this. The Shaman Stream. I don't know what's going on with these energies, but... Don't worry about it. It's in the hand. The universe is your partner. The universe is your partner in the hand. 31. Seven covenant sacred contract. Maybe something about this person even being in your life for a certain reason or doing something risky as part of a contract. Um, 45. Repairing the veil. Forgiveness. Dances on one foot, a balancing act. And that was the same as this right here, grasshopper, remember? Situations in the balance that require careful handling. And benefactor, grace and generosity, number three. Twelve, dragon sword, protecting the future. Protecting the future. And that is what I've got for you. So sending you love and light. If you're wanting a private reading, I can be reached in the description box below. There is an email address. Um, and then otherwise, until next time, love and light. Bye-bye.